If I was Cheryl, the eloquence I was searching for would not have mattered because she had the ability in the most simplistic way to make you feel special. And I thought to myself, Cheryl, I would like to be more like you. Cheryl impacted so many people um, in ways that we really don't have words for. She touched you by making you laugh. She touched you by giving you advice. She touched you by just, you know, pulling you in to buy that ticket. But she touched you because she loved you. And that's what was unique about Cheryl. She had that unconditional love and it was genuine and you felt it. Cheryl's influence on Rehoboth and the people around it are you know, in so many ways immeasurable. Uh, you know, we're, we're here on the boardwalk with all this iconic Rehoboth imagery and, um, and she was iconic imagery to Rehoboth. Cheryl was my fourth daughter and when she was born, the doctors told me she had hypoachondroplasia, a mild form of dwarfism. So she's the fourth of four girls and we lived in the Dover area. I tried, I tried her in public school, but oh my, that didn't work. Um, children can be cruel, especially if you're different. I remember as a, as a child, you know, Cheryl was different and you, you'd tease her and stay away from her and she was nice to you then still. And then as you get older, she's, she's still just as nice. She was always, always friendly to everyone. She was as consistent as the dolly sign, as consistent as the boardwalk, as consistent as the waves. She was always here and always the same and, and now she's not and that's, that's kind of depressing. She was just this very special person that everyone seemed to love. Everyone who knew her loved her. and. It's amazing, wherever we go, people knew her and they all said the same thing. She was just so special. Well, because we found out that she was a dwarf, I joined Little People of America for her. She, she could care less. She, she thought she was just fine. Uh, but fortunately, she met a, a young man there. His name was Sammy Ross, and he had, a, he had an agent. He was an actor, and he got a call for a strong, short roller skater. Now, Cheryl was that. She, she could really roller skate. And we got a phone call, and Cheryl had gotten the part, the part of Miss Piggy on roller skates in the movie uh, The Muppets Take Manhattan. She waited on tables on her roller skates, and, and it was fun. Uh, it was at the beach luncheonette. George Chartis uh, gave her her first job. He was brave, <laughs> but she was with him for 16 years and just had the best time. Unfortunately, that beach luncheonette closed, and um, she went on to uh, to Grotto, and there she met um, a lady named Kathy McNamara. Now, Kathy McNamara worked for Jane Brady, who at that time was the Attorney General, and Jane had started a charity called. Kinfolk, and they raised money to buy laptops for children who were in the hospital. But um, they asked Cheryl, they thought, well, maybe Cheryl could sell their chances. Boy, that was the right move. You know, you probably have heard people refer to Cheryl as a Rehoboth icon, as Rehoboth's sweetheart, as Rehoboth's ambassador. But I don't think I understood the depth of the love that was felt by the city until they did the parade. And the parade for Cheryl was also on a Wednesday evening at 4.30 in the almost the middle of a rainstorm. The skies cleared as the parade started, um, but people came out anyway. And they came out with signs that they had made. They came out um, just to wave. They stood there for hours waiting for the, the Jeep to make um, the rounds. And we're only a square mile, but but everybody wanted to reach out. And even people, we ran into somebody a week later in a restaurant who was visiting the city. And she walked up and she said, I had no idea what was going on when the parade was going through, but Cheryl, I know you now, and, and I will always remember you. So, um, so she, she could, she could make you smile.
Always. She leaves behind a legacy that it's going to be really difficult to fill. Uh, you know, you look around at a lot of great businesses and great people that live here and, and this wonderful town that we live in. But she was the beating heart of it all. She was always the nice person here. She, she was the heart of Rehoboth Beach. And, and that's going to be, those are going to be really difficult shoes to fill. Oh my, I'm back to love again. It was just a love of the area, of the people, of people strange. She never knew a stranger. Anybody who arrived here, she greeted them like they were her best friends. Uh, just her love for the community and the people. Cheryl. I would like to be more like you. However you choose to remember her, please remember she loved you, all of you, completely and unconditionally. And sure, I would like to be more like you.